Yeah, I'm gonna probably reset. What are we at now? Um, 42, we're just, on, we're just dropping off. Okay. How deep are you, Gary? I am deployed. Okay, good. 45. I wish we could just fish this ledge because there's fish sitting right on the edge of it. If I wanted it to have a little more action, I'd shorten that way up, bring it up to within 12 inches of that dodge. But they're seeming to want a little lighter action today, so far. Now this is something. This is what you do in tournaments sometimes. You'll find a, a color or a combination that's working in the morning. Who knows, this could be a new product born. You got him, huh? Yep. I switched over to the UV uh, sling blade. Yeah. The plain UV. I there's, think that was the ticket. Okay, there's something about that side of the boat. That's a good fish too, bud. Yeah, it feels I'm good. I'm gonna step out. That's the, uh, the landing platform. Oh, yeah. There All we right. go. Oh, nice. Yep. That's a good one. That'll help. That's the kind of stuff you want right there, buddy. Oh, that's, yep. Yeah. That's a good fish. The plain UV. Kokanee. The stars of this video truly do glitter. Thus, the other names for these landlocked sockeye salmon. Silver trout, silver sides, or even bluebacks. Gary Morales is a student so, of these John. celebrities in the angling world since he makes and distributes a line of tackle just for fishing kokanee. This is the reason he's our host for kokanee trolling. It also helps that he is generous with his hard-won knowledge and enjoys sharing it. Well, you know, when, when I come out with a fishing tournament, of course, you try to pre-fish and get an idea of where the fish are, the depth, what the fish want. Uh, but then when you start the tournament day, you want to have a variety of things. I normally glow in the morning. We'll run all the glow, which is what we were doing this morning. We did real well first uh, light and then early this morning on uh, the uh, glow um, uh, blue and uh, glow sling blade. Uh, this probably caught, this morning, probably caught eight fish. Yeah, I was going to say ten. But, uh, and uh, with like a pink white hoochie. Um, once sun came up, uh, about half hour after sun came up, then we've switched to UV and a bunch of other stuff. And um, but when we start off in the morning, like I said, we'll use a little bit of everything. We'll run some hoochies, some coconuts, some spoons. I had a crippler on, um, and we had spinners. I mean, we did a little bit of everything, and then we found that they were hitting uh, one style hoochie pretty well. So then we kind of used, switched over to that, and then when that shut down, then we went to others. But the, you know, the, the whole process is trying to find out what product they want, what colors they want, of course your depths, and you put it all together and figure it out. It's like a puzzle. Figure it out, put it together, you, you're going to catch some nice fish, and that's how you win these things. Gary is with Brian Russell. Brian heads up Kokanee Power of Oregon that is putting on this derby. Brian so happens to hold line class record for Kokanee, but his job in this production is to be the straight man for Gary's lessons to come on trolling techniques. When I started out, I had an old uh, saltwater spinning reel, not spinning reel, a level wind reel. I, I put 50 pound test line on it, put three 16, um, anyway, I think I ended up with 16 ounces of keel sinkers, and I used that for a downrigger, and it worked, and I was able to catch fish doing that, and then as I slowly was able to acquire. I got a small manual, I got a, one nice rod, one level wind reel, and I started with a few sling blades and a few spinners, and I could catch fish. They are entered in this Kokanee Power Tournament, just one of several the club puts on each year. With Brian's duties as ramrod of this event and Gary's as sponsor, they have little time to get as serious about competing as they really would like to. I got one too, bud, and mine just pulled release. Ooh, that's going that down. That like a Mackinac. Oh, no it isn't, it's just a big Coke. Whoa! That's that new that, rod of yours. Look at this. Oh, that's a big fish. Dude, that thing, that, that is the hardest hit I've had since we've been out. I told you that lure was gonna work. Should I put it oh on? Oh my God! Did you lose it? <laughs> Ow! That was a big fish, Gary. One Isn't of the it? things about Kokanee, they have very soft mouths. And no matter how soft a rod you have, I mean, we have as light action rod as you can get. 
and uh, my drag set fell and loose. I it's would, just... I would uh, tie another hook on that thing. What lies that ahead are great lessons on trolling for Kokanee from Gary Morales and friends. You've already met like Brian Russell, of head of Kokanee Power of Oregon. When we are on Wikiup Reservoir, John Klein is our skipper. John is an avid and exceptional Kokanee angler who spends the kind of time in the water the rest of us only dream about. We also take a quick visit to Yale Reservoir in Washington for a lesson on straight line trolling from another John, this time John Hoyland. Hoyland has the DiscountOutdoorStore.com website and also makes a variety of salmon and steelhead angling products. He will show us some good tactics if you're just getting started trolling for kokanee. Now, what we have done here, we've got two downriggers, two fishermen, two rod stamps. We're actually able to fish up to eight lures. If we Enjoy the boat ride and get started honing your skills and gear for your next kokanee adventure. That way I can always leave the bottom ones down. We don't have to mess with them all the time. Right there, we just caught a fish. 